Wednesday night, Jim's off. I'm Brian Taff, and the big story on Action News tonight is developing news in that widely watched case of Breonna Taylor. This was the scene a short time ago in Louisville, Kentucky. Protesters clashing with police just hours after a grand jury handed down a single indictment connected to the police shooting back in March that claimed Taylor's life. Ex-officer Brett Hankison is now charged with three counts of what's called wanton endangerment. Those charges stem from allegations that he blindly fired 10 rounds into Taylor's apartment, those rounds entering a neighbor's apartment. Instead, a man, a pregnant woman, and a child inside of the time. But none of the officers directly involved in Taylor's killing will face any charges. Kentucky's attorney general calling the actions of those officers justified. According to Kentucky law, the use of force by Mattingly and Cosgrove was justified to protect themselves. This justification bars us from pursuing criminal charges in Miss Brianna Taylor's death. Now, Taylor was killed as the officers executed the search warrant at her apartment. Her boyfriend, fearing it was an intruder, shot an officer as he entered. The officers returned fire, killing Taylor in the process. They were looking for drugs connected to Taylor's ex-boyfriend who did not live there and no drugs were found. And we've got this just into Action News. Authorities at the Shelby County Detention Center releasing this booking photo of Officer Hankinson after he was booked and released on bond. Again, he faces three counts of wanton endangerment in that case.